but we did not invite any chief guest. It's not that uh, we wanted to be the chief guest. It was just, I just said that all of us are so well conversant with Dr. Ambedkar's work that we don't need any outside person to tell us about Dr. Ambedkar. we will deliberate about his great work, uh, about this great son of India. I have read complete biography as well as many works of Dr. Ambedkar, so I am personally very, very influenced by Dr. Ambedkar. And I believe that but for Ambedkar, we would not have been a united country today. He was instrumental in integrating a large section of society into the mainstream, large section of society which was hitherto deprived, downtrodden and you know isolated from the mainstream. So he is credited with bringing those that underprivileged people and downtrodden people into the mainstream. So that today they are very much part of the mainstream of the society. Dr. Ambedkar was born on 14th of April 1891 as you all know and we are celebrating that uh, birthday today. You know he was born into a lower middle class family and his father and grandfather they served in Mahar Regiment of Indian Army that, and he was born in Maho that is army cantonment in MP today. And during his childhood only, he suffered a lot of humiliation and discrimination in society while he was in school or while they were traveling. In everywhere he found that untouchability or discrimination was so widely prevalent that it had become the bane of Indian society and he was very sure that without freeing the society from this day, we cannot become a free nation. So, he was lucky that he got a scholarship to study abroad. He was a very bright child, although always a topper in his school days. So, his talent was recognized by some benevolent kings and maharajas and they offered him scholarship to study abroad, which he availed and he went to US to study economics and he by heart he was an economist. He became social acti activist and political leader later on because as an economist he served so many of degrees, degree in law, degree in economics, PhD in economics. When he returned back to the country, he found that despite being so educated, so highly educated, vis-a-vis -vis all, of, all of his colleagues or all of his top most people in the society at that time, he was still being discriminated by the society. So he thought what use is this education which is not emancipating him from the, you know, slavery and from discrimination. So he took up the cause of this large section of deprived and downtrodden section and successfully brought them into the mainstream, provided them the self-respect much needed self-respect and dignity. So, he was a leading light of constituent assembly and he was given the honest task of drafting the Indian constitution which he did very successfully. If you see his biography, if you, I have, uh, I recommend everybody to read his uh, biography written by Shashi Taru although that is of recent origin, but it is a very well written biography which covers the entire gambit uh, of the events in the Ambedkar's life, how despite being so highly educated, despite being taking up, you know, teaching job then after, he took up the job of law and he was taking up only those cases of weak and downtrodden people, free of cost. In entire life Ambedkar always suffered from poverty himself. Despite being so highly educated, he he was not never well to do because he was most of the time doing either the social service or he was involved in activism. He was never involved in earning for himself. 
so his family also you know sacrifice a lot for all these national causes so throughout his uh, uh, struggle for the inclusion of this large section of society he took up social activism he took up legal cases he took up awareness campaign he took to cause of the people who was denied entry in the temples cause of the people who were suffering from untouchability and even so much so that he influenced lot of his contemporary including in south periyar was highly influenced from his works and he also took up in south the cause of you know deprived sections of the society so i would not take much of your time because you know what the our honorable um, general secretary said and president said that uh, this time you know no amount of time is enough to describe the works of ambedkar so personally i am very very influenced by ambedkar in works and generally we know dr ambedkar as you know social activist or as the doctor of our constitution but if you see his complete biography if you read his complete biography and works you will find at core of his heart he was economist he gave so many economic theories much before uh, gandhi ji and his influence of his economic policy can be seen in our economic policy being followed even till now so in the constitution he made provisions for including the deprived sections into the mainstream those constitutional guarantees were incorporated by him and the entire constituent assembly was convinced of all these provisions made in the constitution because of which now we see a lot of upliftment of the deprived section i would not say that quality has yet been achieved but largely i would say that these sections have achieved a life of self respect dignity and more or less equality so this is all credit to dr ambedkar that there is, there is harmony on the in the in the society mostly because of the works and constitutional provisions created by dr ambedkar so today on this auspicious occasion we must remember his works we must read his biography again and again and we should feel inspired from his works his struggles throughout his life he struggled till he became you know minister in the uh, as a law minister there also he struggled he had to struggle a lot he although initially he was a follower of gandhi but they had lot of differences on many social issue although gandhi himself was you know working for the upliftment of down driven but their methods dr ambedkar didn't agree with the methods of mr gandhi because he felt that mr gandhi was soft peddling the issue and he was not directly taking on taking on the bulls by horns which dr ambedkar felt that this issue should be recognized and a very proactive and strong action needs to be taken to resolve the problem of our large section of our people so this is what he did and uh, we should be grateful to dr ambedkar as a nation we should always be grateful to him for having brought this harmony this semblance of equality and you know removal of discriminatory practices uh, in indian society at all so thank you very much for listening to me and thank you very much for attending me we also held a competition among the school children and we have chosen some children for presenting the awards so i urge all the children to kindly read the works and biography of dr ambedkar so that you feel inspired you feel aware about the social evils which were present there and how much struggle had gone in to approve those evils and
how much necessary it is to include and each and every member of the society into the mainstream if the nation wants to see the ultimate progress. Thank you.